Okay, hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Adrian. Welcome to English with Adrian, helping you expand your English, increase your confidence, and speak like a native Englishman. Today, let's look at uh, indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns, what they're all about, and uh, when do we use them? So, indefinite pronouns are used to talk about things in general and not specifics. Not specific, as in like something explicitly you need. I need a specific page. Um, no, it's just in general. It's like, ah, it's somewhere, yeah, it's somewhere along here. Somewhere in general. Not, not, not a specific one. Not a specific one, just, ah, in general. So, we use things like anyone and someone that are as common that don't refer to anything specific. And the question, statement or sentence is quite open. So anyone, not not a specific someone or someone. Like, is there someone here that can teach me English? Is it anyone? One person at least? Was there someone, individual, anywhere? Did anyone ring me today? Hmm. Did anyone ring me? Yes. Someone from the office rang you. I don't know who. Don't know who, but someone did. I'm not sure who. But anyone. Anyone? Anyone? Someone. Someone here. Someone in the building. Said it. Did anyone ring me? We're asking if at least one person rang. At least one person with anyone. Is anyone rang? At least one. One? And it turns out that a, a person from the office did indeed ring. A person. So someone did ring. Ring, ring. But we don't know who. Who? We don't know who. Hmm. Do you want to talk to someone from the hospital? Someone from the hospital. Maybe. I will talk to anyone. Anyone. I'll talk to anyone. Anyone. Please. Anyone. Is anyone staying over tonight? Is anyone staying over? You know? They're not going to go home. They're going to stay here with me. Anyone? You? 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 Yeah. Will someone come with me? Please. Will someone come with me to the shop? Someone, please come. Will someone come with me to the cinema? To the cinema? Will someone? Please? Please? I don't give anyone my number. No one. I don't give it to anyone. No one. No one. No one. No one. I don't give anyone my number. No way. Someone has my number. Someone has my number. Who? Mm, someone. Someone's got it, but I don't know who. Hmm. But then look, we have everyone and no one refers to a group of whole people while no one refers to no one in the group. Everyone in the whole group, the whole group, and no one, no one in the group. No one, there's no one here. There's no one at home. There's no one in the shop. Where is everyone? Why is no one in the shop? Everyone is at the football match instead. Why is no one here? They're all, everyone's in the, in the stadium watching the football. Everyone's in the pub watching the football. Yeah. Where is everybody? Every, everyone and everybody use the same, both singular uh, and is singular. Everyone, everybody, everyone, everybody. Where is everybody? Nobody's here. Nobody, nobody's here. Where is everyone? Everyone's gone to the pub to watch the football. Nobody wants to come here. Nobody wants to come here. Nobody wants to come to, the, the, to this barber's. Nobody. I am with everyone at the picnic. I am with everyone 
from work, a clarifier. I am with I am with everyone from the party. At at a party. Everybody has a unique skill. Everybody has a unique skill. Everyone is at the picnic. Um nom nom nom. Everyone. Yeah. Everybody is smart. Unique skill. Yeah. But interestingly, common mistake. No one and nobody. Yeah. Uh, as they go into a positive statement, and any more, and anybody is negative. So no one and nobody goes into a positive, into the positive statement, and anybody and anything, anyone, is a negative. So it depends on the structure of the sentence. There isn't, isn't being a negative, anyone here, right. There isn't no one here, wrong. There isn't anyone here. There isn't anyone waiting. There aren't any uh, customers. There aren't any. There isn't. There isn't no one here. There isn't no one here. There isn't anyone here. It's the way this no works. No one, nobody. Is there? Is there? Is there somebody here? Is there somebody here? Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Move on. So someone and some uh, someone and anything. These refer to unspecified and unnamed objects. This thing. This 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 thing. We don't know what it is. This thing. It's something black. Something. Oh, it's something broken actually. Something weird. What is it? What is this? It's something like glasses, but. Not quite glasses. Hmm. Something weird. Something strange. Very weird. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Something unspecified and unnamed. Something can be used with positive statements and anything with negative. Anything. Do you have anything black? Do you have anything green? I haven't got anything green. I haven't got anything black. I have something yellow. I have something red. But I don't have anything blue. Can I have something to drink? Something to drink? Yes. Have something healthy. Have something healthy. Have some water. Something healthy. Used in a, in a sense of something general and not specific to the speaker or listener. Being a bit vague. Oh. Is there anything I can do for you? Is there anything I can do? Anything. I don't know what, but anything. Maybe this. Maybe that. Maybe this. Maybe maybe this. Anything. There isn't anything you can do for me. No, thank you. There isn't anything you can do for me. There isn't something. Isn't something. There isn't anything. There isn't anything. Yeah. There isn't any. There isn't anybody can do any. There isn't anything nobody can do for me. There isn't anything anybody can do. There's nothing you can do. Singular form of anything and something, and the reply is negative. So anything is used. Is there something you need from the shop? Is there something you need from the shop? Something weird happened last night. Something you need from the shop. Something weird happened last night. The singular form of something and the reply is negative. So anything is used. Anything could happen with me. Anything could happen. Something could happen indeed, but anything could happen open much more random and unexpected. Would anything bad happen if I drink it? Would anything bad happen? Would would something bad happen if I drink it? Ooh. Would anything bad happen? Ooh. I don't know. What was that rocket fuel? <laughs> Looks like rocket fuel. It's something. It's something clear. Mm. Wonder what it is. We'll find out. Nothing and everything. Ah. So nothing means that there's no no available objects or things that can be used. 
and everything means all possible things and objects are available. Yeah. Nothing and everything. So nothing is like 0 percent. 0 percent and everything is like a hundred percent. Everything. I have everything I need right here. I have nothing that you want. Nothing for you. No. Tom, oh, James and Tom have nothing to do. They're bored. Oh. They have nothing to do. Oh, nothing to do. Jessica and Tom, just Jessica and I can do everything on the list. Everything on the list, on this piece of paper list, we can do, yes. Everything, 100%. 100%. Yeah. Nothing can be used in positive statements and it can also be used anything to have the same meaning. There's nothing I love more than tea. There's nothing more I love than tea. There isn't anything I love more than tea. Nothing more I love than tea. There is nothing. There isn't anything. There is not a single thing. There isn't anything. I can see everything in the room. I can see everything. Everything. I can see everyone. I can see everyone in the room. I can see everyone. Definitely. I can see them all. Everything tastes good. Everything tastes good. I don't know what to order from the menu. I'm num num to eat. It all tastes good. Everything looks good. Everything tastes good. Everything is, everything is really good. I'm spoilt for choice. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Everything tastes good. Everything. I don't know what to order. What to eat. Om nom nom. What shall I order? Don't know. I don't know. But, however, that's indefinite pronouns. Talk about things in general and not specifics. Yeah, so... We don't know what we're talking about. Something, anything, no one, everything, everyone. Yeah. However, if you want to keep expanding your English, increase your vocabulary, and speak like a native Englishman, then hit the subscribe button below and press the bell notification next to it for the latest videos and uploads. Until then, see you soon.